Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. I literally came into the powder room, powder room, <laughs> the room that will become my powder room to start the vlog, just so that I don't have another vlog starting my dressing room in that exact same spot. Because I imagine that is getting very boring. Maybe it's just me that overthinks these things, but we like to, we like to spice things up. But I am in here for a reason, actually, because wowzers, I need to sort out my beauty products, but also, I would say we've had a delivery, but we've actually had these Burlington bits in the um, carport for about a month now. But I am going to be unboxing um, my Burlington bathroom stuff, which I am beyond excited about. I've never seen this stuff in real life before, I've only seen it in pictures. And we're basically designing this bathroom <laughs> around this bathroom stuff because it's so beautiful. I'll pop a reminder on the screen here of what my sinks look like. We've got two of them going here and here. Plumber came around yesterday to um, move the pipes, although I thought he was going to be twisting this that way because that would be really wide panelling. Looks like all he's done is literally go from this to this. I don't know. I'm sure there is some logic here. So I did already open... Oh my goodness, that's heavy. That is the toilet system. <laughs> ah, here's a little picture. Um, granite marble care and maintenance. Oh, that's genuinely quite useful okay i will make a mental note of that but in here dun 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 we have the most beautiful marble sink and look it's got the most gorgeous um kind of beautiful soft rounded shape at the front loads of room there we go loads of rooms on rooms loads of room on the side of the sink for me to put products and take gorgeous photos and then these are like two little kind of arm bits so they will go either side at the back and then there's a really beautiful again quite rounded back bit which is just gonna look so amazing and I cannot wait to get them installed and then they're on these little um I think they're like steel or iron legs it's just gonna look beyond stunning and then we have got all of the fun bits whatever this is it is gold how exciting oh I think it's a toilet flush oh my goodness a gold toilet flush. How exciting is this? And I'm not actually joking, by the way. I'm genuinely excited to have a gold toilet flush. So that'll be the pipe that supplies the water. Beautiful. Um, I don't know what they're for. What's this? I don't know what this is, but it's some part of a toilet. Oh, it's got some instructions here. It's called the cachet décoratif et des crues de fixation à l'étion. Wowza, okay. Well, I don't see a flush anywhere, unless that's the top of the flush and it's one of those that you push in. But I think we've got a pulley cord one, I don't know. Okay, here we have the plug and the plug is gold as well. I just think that gold hardware in bathrooms looks so beautiful, so. Oh, why do I get excited about these kind of things? But oh my goodness, that is just gonna look stunning in the marble sink. <gasps> look at this, oh my goodness. I used to get excited about fashion accessories. Now I get excited about bathroom accessories. Wowza, but look how beautiful this tap is. How can a tap be so beautiful? And even the toilet flush, <gasps> that's gonna look so nice. Okay, this is the last thing, seriously, because I know this must be very boring, but that is beautiful. That is the most beautiful tap I have ever seen. <gasps> we have a marble shelf here, and I don't even know where it goes. It weighs an absolute ton. I can't remember if the sinks have a shelf underneath them, but that is just so beautiful. So that is all my bathroom bits and bobs, which I'm so excited to see assembled. Still gonna be a little while yet because um, we need to wait for the carpenter to have some availability. He did say it was gonna be like mid-March, but then he said that if any of his clients' um, jobs finish early, then he'll just come and start cracking on with this. Cause once he's put the paneled half height wall in, um, then the sinks can go in and I'm gonna start painting this weekend, yay. 
so hopefully the transformation will be happening. And I am back <laughs> to my favourite little spot, your balanced on a hair protectant spray. I wanted to give a shout out to this little box of chocolates that came um, <laughs> in my PO box this morning. It's from Hotel Chocolat and they have been smashing it lately. We had, um, do you remember in the last uh, Thursday's video, we were laughing about this Hotel Chocolat Bunsen burner type thing, which had these little almost Malteser sized chocolates in it. They were so good. They were like milk, white and dark chocolate with a fruity, creamy center and oh my goodness mm. the mango and there was like a passion fruit one so good and this set this is what the little box looked like perfect for just like a little treat could pop this in the letterbox for someone it's called their signature collection and i've obviously already eaten them <laughs> obviously but i have to say this one and this one quite possibly the best chocolates I think I've ever eaten. So the, the heart-shaped one was caramel draws out the pistachio's natural roasted notes, the perfect couple. So it's like a pistachio creamy mousse inside. And then the pink one was a raspberry panna cotta and opulent vanilla cream topped with raspberry zing. I think they were quite possibly the best chocolates I have ever had in my life. <laughs> Do you know sometimes when people buy you a box of chocolates, it's like, oh, thanks, and then you don't actually eat them because it's very rare that it feels like the right occasion to treat yourself to bougie chocolates. So now, whenever I get them, I just eat them on the same day because life's too short. Anyway, so I need to start getting ready um, to do some filming and to do some photography today because it is a glorious day, freezing cold, <clears throat> but glorious, and I'm going to be putting it to the test a few of the products in my Look Fantastic Beauty box. So this little section of the video is an ad feature and partnership with Look Fantastic. I feel like beauty box subscriptions are such a good idea if you want to try out more expensive products, try something new, discover new brands um, without spending an absolute fortune. So the products in the Look Fantastic beauty boxes, this is the latest one, they're always above the value of 50 pounds. So the value inside your box is always above 50 pounds literally cult beauty products in here ranging from brands like best selling products to new launches um and the boxes are as little as 13 pounds you can get three six or 12 month subscriptions and darlings look fantastic have very kindly shared a discount code i'll leave it on the screen here in the description box down below which will get you 10 percent off your order so your order will be not just a one-off box it will be either a three six or 12 month subscription so you can just sign up one time and then every now and then you'll just get a lovely delivery through the letterbox and get to discover and try some new makeup products. So, let's see what is in the box. Ah, oh, that is epic. So you get a little booklet. Let's see, I wonder if this is... It's like a little mini beauty magazine. So we've got some info here about what's in the box. I spot one of my favourites already, the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. Now this is where it's so good because Elemis is a bougie brand. It is a pricey, expensive brand. And when does one get to try out their products and know whether you love them or not before investing? I think we can all agree that investing in skincare is really, really important. Invest in your skincare be before your makeup, but, ha but it's so daunting to spend like 50 or 100 pounds on a skincare product and then it not work for you so that's why this is so so clever oh my gosh Ila Masca as well that is another very expensive brand there's always some cute little minis as well so we've got the magnetone wipeout wipes cleansing pads amazing to go in the gym bag and we can go to the gym again and then there's just some information in here so we've got some fun fun facts information about moringa as an ingredient <laughs> What to do if you've got mask knee. Ah, lovely. So we've got lots of information in there. And then, oop, let's do a little unboxing together. Right, so this is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. I have tried this before and oh my goodness, it's one of those masks that like nibbles away at the dead skin cells on your face. So satisfying. If your skin's a little bit lackluster at the moment, needs a bit of a glow, 
highly recommend an enzyme peel mask and they don't come much better than Elemis. Balance Me AHA Glow Mask. Okay, so these I would not use on the same night. Alternate, make sure you use um, an SPF the next day. AHA again, great for resurfacing the skin. We've got the Wipeout Wipes Eco-Friendly Microfiber. <gasps> Amazing, oh my goodness. I thought these were like one use throwaway pads and I was gonna say, I thought we were past that. Um, but no, they're not, they're microfiber pads. Oh, that's amazing, I get the box just for these. So you've got two really cute little pads. I've mentioned quite a few times before on my channel how I love the face halo. Well, these are pretty much the same as that and yet the whole box is cheaper than a face halo, so amazing and these are really cute you've got a little zigzag pattern on them you don't need any cleanser you literally just need water and these take off your makeup that is so clever i did not know that magnetone did that magnetone make um facial devices that's amazing i'll be using those tonight interesting this is a galactic lid gloss not lip gloss lid gloss cream eyeshadow uh shimmer and shine in the shade Zodiac, which is like a perfect bronzy colour. You might turn your nose up at this little size, but have you ever finished a cream eyeshadow? I haven't. And with makeup expiration dates, this is enough for me, especially as we're not going out anywhere. When we do put snazzy makeup on, it's probably for a Zoom call or something. Wow. Holy moly, that is sparkly. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. That is actually stunning. I don't know if you can see this on camera as much, but I've got my um, mirror here. That is, that's the most effective sparkle I think I have ever seen in an eyeshadow. And because it's creamy, it feels quite hydrating. Sometimes with glitter, I feel like it just dries out the eyelid. So that is Galactic Lid Gloss from Ico. That is stunning. If you just need a little something to pep up your makeup during a gloomy lockdown February morning. Okay, and then we've got the Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. Oh my goodness. I haven't used Elamasca in years. Years and years and years. I always felt like they were a bit cool for me as a brand, um, but I do remember loving their products. Ooh. That is like a little jelly primer. Elamasca is expensive. Even this little deluxe size is 10 pounds and the whole box is 13 pounds or 13 pound a month. Um, that is amazing. So this is, <laughs> I'm gonna treat this like gold dust now. I would obviously pop this on cleansed skin. That feels absolutely gorgeous. That's not sticky. I don't think it's scented either. That feels gorgeous. I'm gonna pop that on. I'm gonna pop that downstairs and then when I'm doing my makeup tomorrow, because I don't intend to come up here and do my makeup on the weekends. On the weekends, because I have such a slow morning, I always do my makeup um, downstairs. So I do have duplicates of most of my products. Ooh, yeah. Strawberry macaron, bubble tea, but ooh, bath and body. It's an American bath and body shop. No, I don't think it is. I think bubble tea is the brand, but it is a bath and body brand. It's about to get really excited. So strawberry macaron, hand and body butter. I have little tubs where I keep sizes like this because they're so good for in the gym bag. Um, and when we're allowed to travel again, these are like gold dust because you don't want to take a full body cream with you. Oh my gosh. That is the best smelling body lotion I have ever smelt. But I can use it as hand cream as well. Soothe and nourish with the uplifting hand and body butter. So that's 50 ml. That's amazing. So look fantastic beauty box. Always six products. Always worth at least 50 pounds from as little as 13 pound a month. Three, six, 12 month subscriptions. Um, and don't forget about my discount. Ooh. That looked really weird. And don't forget about my discount code. I'll leave it in the description box down below. That will get you 10% off your subscription. How amazing. Let me know if you do subscribe and which of these products ticked you over because I feel like it's always that one thing. It's like when you go shopping online. I don't know about you, but I like fill my basket with loads of things. And I'm like, oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. But it always takes one thing to make me actually press purchase. For me, I almost think it would be these. But then... It's just so nice to try so many different products, especially the expensive brands, brands that maybe you hadn't heard of before, products that you don't need massive sizes of. Very, very useful indeed. Okay, now I need to do my hair 
and then it's time to get shooting. Couple of other lovely things um, that can't get into this one handed that I have received in the post. This is something I purchased. And this was a lovely little gift. I think it's from the Dior beauty team. Let's have a little look inside. I love how they package things. They always come in these lovely bags with Dior fragrance, um, fragrance scented tissue paper. Whoever puts them together is very, very talented. Oh, I'm gonna keep that. It's very cute. Ooh la la. Oh, Miss Dior. Haven't worn that in so long. Roller pearl fragrance. <gasps> Is the roller ball gonna look like a pearl? Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Is that not the most beautiful little mini handbag size fragrance you have ever seen? That is so beautiful. Um, so this is Rose and Roses. Still can't get into it. There we go. So cute. A new eau de toilette for Valentine's Day 2021. That is gorgeous. That's definitely going to go in my handbag once I actually start leaving the house again. And then I decided to treat myself to a little Loewe leather belt. Do you remember in my wardrobe um, kind of walk around tour video, I was mentioning that I didn't have any skinny belts and I have been very inspired by various outfits I have seen online. And um, I think these look really great, especially like with cardigans, long, long white cardigans. The one that I actually originally wanted had... Um, this Loewe logo as the buckle but it was sold out in all the sizes except for the biggest one which I think would have been too big for me because this I would like to wear it as a waist belt um and this actually only just fits this is the smallest size and I think I underestimated my waist size but yeah it does fit um but I probably wouldn't be able to wear it as a hip belt I don't know let's see I mean obviously this is not <laughs> Definitely not the outfit that I would wear it with. Okay, so if I wear it on the tightest setting, then I can wear it as a little waist belt. I'm doing a squat here. Um, yeah, definitely wouldn't fit me on the hips, but never mind. I feel like hip belts are a little bit 90s anyway. So yeah, that's gonna be a really nice little addition to some cute little long white cardigans. And it's actually clouded over since um, since I started talking to you, so I don't think I'm going to do any filming today after all because I'm just not in the mood. I'm not in the mood today. Um, I'm in the mood to go and light the fire downstairs, do some editing, and um, I'm going to watch some painting tutorials to make sure that when I do the powder room, because it's freshly lime plastered walls do i need to obviously i'm going to put a primer on um and remember there is going to be wallpaper over the top so you're never actually going to see my painting but you can't have the color of the walls showing through it doesn't need to be painted but it doesn't need to be painted well so that's why i'm doing it <sighs> okay i'm gonna go make myself some lunch even though i've had the chocolate so i'm not that hungry <laughs> and do some work Okay, I've got itchy feet today, I can't sit still. So, I've come to find, right, some potential paint for the powder room. I need, apparently, a water, yes, that's exactly what I need. So I've just done some research in front of the fire, um, and when you are painting fresh lime plaster, you basically need to either mist um, the plaster, otherwise it gets all bitty which we don't want, or you have to prime it with a water-based primer. What do we have spare of? Quick, dry, water-based primer. Fabulous. So you are coming with me, matey-ho. Might need more. Luckily, we have got more. Are you following me, Senor Sausage? Ew, you're so small. Shall I also, while I'm here, update you on a few of the garden plans? So... This is quite a big, um, big thing we're doing this year, actually. So we're gonna put in a low hedge down here. We're gonna have a lovely arch there. And we're getting rid of these topiary trees, which I know is gonna really upset some people, but geographically, they're just not right for this house. It's an English countryside garden and topiary is um, more Mediterranean. We are, of course, getting rid of this, but in order to get rid of this, we need a new shed. So we're putting a shed in that corner over there, 
obviously you know we're getting all these bushes redone um, and when the shed is there I've ordered a nice one from John Lewis from the Na National Trust collection when the shed is there we can pop the tools that are in here looks like it's full of junk but it is stuff that we need like ladders and watering cans and rakes and stuff so that'll then go in the shed then we can dismantle this where's Dickens gone What you doing behind there, little boy? What you doing, little Dora the Explorer? Uh, yes, cannot wait to get rid of this. Might be able to repurpose these red bricks somewhere. That might be quite nice. And the shed needs a concrete base, so we've got to have Mark over to do a concrete base for us. Out of there, young rascal. Um, and then eventually... Now this is where we're a little bit TBC because this will be expensive, but we do want to redo this area. I might try and just keep it. I think that'll be a 2022 plan though. So we're probably gonna keep it, grow stuff here this year. Um, and then next winter and next spring, we're gonna have to start all over again with this because these aren't very strong. They need some more supports. So they need to be made out of better wood. These ones are rotting, as you can see. They'll be okay for this year. Maybe we'll do a bit of a DIY bodge job just for this summer. Um, and then the plan is to have a beautiful stone pergola here. That's my dream. I've always wanted a pergola. So a stone pergola in the middle of there with a little marble table and some iron chairs for a little coffee spot. And then potentially maybe a bit of a kitchen, outdoor kitchen there or maybe a greenhouse, but they are an absolute fortune. So who knows? We shall see. We shall see. Oh, I'm being attacked by a rose bush. God, it is plumbing freezing out here today. <laughs> Look at Dickens. <laughs> Look at little Dicky. Come on, my little sausage. Let's go back inside. Come on, little pterodactyl. Oh, you're so naughty. Come on, out yet. Mummy, I can't do it. I'm not clever enough. Oh, be nice. Come on. Here's a question for you. Does anyone know what these grey hanging items are? Is that going to become wisteria? Or is it a giant caterpillar that's going to become a butterfly? You see what I mean? That like grey pod. Then these look like the start of the wisteria flowers. So I really don't know. We are 20 minutes in. For any professional painters out there, I must caveat that I have no skill and no experience in this area, so I'm sure my technique was a solid 1 out of 10. Feel free to leave me your wall painting tips in the comment section below, and don't worry, remember this is eventually going to be covered in wallpaper. This is just a very much temporary setup, so no one panic that I am ruining what is hopefully gonna be a beautiful powder room. So I'm starting in this area here because this is actually all going to be cupboarded in. So in reality, no one will ever see this. It'll just be the insides of my cupboards. But then the area I'm gonna start on now is up here, which people will actually see. I realized I was playing a very dangerous game only using a cardboard box lid as my dust sheet. So I have actually gone and got a load more dust sheets. I've covered up, um, all the bathroom stuff and I'm now gonna properly prep the room. My tripod is held together by masking tape. I'm now gonna properly cover the floor in here, better safe than sorry, and then carry on.
Okay, I have just run dry on my last um, my last roll, and I'm not going to re-pour any more paint into the what do you call it the tray because. It's Friday evening, <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and relax. And we've also got another really epic uh, kind of meal delivery tonight. So I've done this wall up to the beam um, and just a little bit of that corner there just to use my brush up. So I'm gonna pop the lid on the paint, wash my roller and continue with this tomorrow morning. Goodness me, I am shiny. I feel like I always say that when I come into this lighting at this time of day. Um, so we have got, as I just mentioned, this very special meal this evening. Um, I'm actually working with Belgravia as a place, which is really cool, over on my Instagram. And I've already published a reel, but I also have to do some stories for the Musette by Tom Aikens restaurant and their Valentine's Day dinner delivery. By the time the content goes out, Valentine's Day will have been and gone, but it's just to show what amazing meals you can get delivered, whether you live in London or otherwise. Um, and this is a company that I'm definitely going to look at more. It's called Finish and Feast. Well, they call themselves the UK's premier restaurant meal assembly kit platform on a mission to provide everyone with the opportunity to enjoy a fine dining experience in the comfort of their own home. So we have, wait for this, homemade housemade ricotta balsamic pickled mushrooms dried herbs and a mushroom vinaigrette on sourdough for our starter and then 24 hour braised short rib miso honey soy marmite onion tartan and salt baked beets as the main and then and by the way tom akins is um i think he was the uk's youngest two michelin star chef he's 26 or he got the two michelin stars when he was 26 so an incredible chef um and the restaurant is it muse or musette i think he's got both or maybe musette is the delivery version but muse is the restaurant in belgravia um the dessert with this is dark chocolate mousse with chantilly cream and caramelized pistachio however that takes some assembly and I feel like we're not going to be bothered to do that um, after the meal so we might have that after our lunch tomorrow and I just had a delivery a donut time delivery oh my goodness this has come from the girls and guys from Murad and Living Proof such an amazing gift oh my gosh it smells incredible so this is a donut glazing and decorating kit. So I think what I'm gonna do while Charlie finishes sorting stuff out upstairs is decorate these donuts. So I think we need to eat these tonight because otherwise they're not gonna be like super fresh. So I'm gonna pop a YouTube video on in the background, do some donut decorating, and then by the time Charlie comes downstairs, it'll be time to prepare our dinner. just said to Charlie if this whole YouTube malarkey doesn't work out I think I might become a professional donut decorator what do we reckon you're a donut yes dear I'm particularly impressed with this one it was the worst um, and then I decided to cover it in buttercream and now it's pretty cool this mm. one not so good started to like that one looks genuinely like something you'd be it's like having a bit of a spasm it, it looks like it's burst <laughs> like it looks like something out of that operation game <laughs> this one looks yummy and this one I kind of don't want to ruin it but I've got no, like loads that. of buttercream left over so I might just put a peg in this and decorate something else tomorrow so I have a little bit of buttercream left over I'm gonna save that and potentially make something nice tomorrow Lala had her um, corona jab yesterday so I think she needs a little pick-me-up so I might make some make some cakes tomorrow I'm not gonna lie I will probably demolish these I think you probably will end up having one, won't you, Joy? Oh, I'll definitely have one. I've, I've got my eyes on this one. 
I thought you were. Did you know yeah. what? That one was the black swan. Is that the expression? Black swan? Wait, are they different donuts? No, I think they're all the same. But this one started off my least favourite because I made it really crap, oh. made it really rubbish. Um, and then when I added the buttercream, it looked amazing. So it, it bloomed. So yes, I'm going to eat all of these with the help of Charlie tonight. Make some nice cupcakes with my leftover butternut. Butternut? Buttercream. Tomorrow. Can you imagine butternut? Well, it's been a slight change of plan. A readjustment. <laughs> a readjustment to this evening's proceedings. Well, we decided that we actually needed a little bit more food tonight than the Michelin dinner. And also, we just can't be bothered to so, cook it. I'll be honest, restaurant kits are amazing, but you still do have to cook them. And then they're never quite enough food. This boy here eats more than any person I've ever met in my life. Yeah, he... start working out more, mate. <laughs> on weight like that. Is it a new tomorrow? So... We've ordered an Indian. What's the name of the restaurant? It is called the Spice Room, I think. It's Spice in Mortimer Room. Marsh, which is about 20 minutes away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it arrives piping hot. Yes. Um, I think it's pretty much, aside from a, an Italian in a village even nearer us, one of the only places that will deliver food here. But then, I, I, you know what, an Indian is probably the best to get delivered. Yeah. You know, because if you were to go and pick that up, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a pain. And you can make, you know, we wouldn't do this ourselves, so. <laughs> So you got the same as me tonight. Yeah. Got the onion bhaji. Rice is here. Um, yes, we've got onion bhaji. Do you want to just get a couple of side plates out? Yes, mate. Naan bread? No. no. Ooh, pompadons. <clears throat> the naans, I think, the only thing that they're not amazing at, actually. Well, they're better than supermarket naans. I don't know. I don't know, actually. That's the only minor criticism of, of food from there. So here it is, our Cotswold version of Deliveroo. Looks good. Tikka masala, onion bhajis, plain naan, pilau rice. Basically a plate of food that is not in any way Indian. That's so it's true. More, it's more Bangladeshi, I believe. Is that? But obviously with a lot of English um, influences. Mm. As we know, when we went to India, they don't even really, in India, have much meat in their curries. Normally. No, interesting. It, uh, India is actually a veggie dream. Yeah. I don't know so much about vegan because I think there's probably stuff in the curries. Lots of butters and ghees and things like that. Yeah. But anyway, on that note, as always, going to end the vlog before we have our dinner because I always just like to chill out afterwards. So, darlings, thank you for watching. We shall see you very soon in the next one. Bye!